Top 10 Most Notorious Nazis The Third Reich, which ruled from 1933 to 1945, was one of, if not the, most evil regimes in history. It drew some of the most evil characters who, given unprecedented power over life and death, turned mass murder into state policy. Despite ongoing efforts to bring former Nazis to justice, many have escaped prosecution for their roles in the Holocaust and other wartime atrocities. Here is our list of the 10 most notorious Nazis. Number 10, Rudolf Hoas. Rudolf Hess was a Nazi-era German SS officer who was convicted of war crimes after Nazi Germany was defeated. Hess was the commandant of the Auschwitz concentration and extermination camp for the longest time, from May 4, 1940 to November 1943, and again from May 8, 1944 to January 18, 1945. He tested and implemented methods to hasten Hitler's order, known as the Final Solution, to systematically exterminate the Jewish population of Nazi-occupied Europe. Hess, at the request of one of his subordinates, Karl Fritz, introduced the pesticide Zyklon B for use in gas chambers, where over a million people were killed. Number 9, Oskar Durlwanger. Oskar Paul Durlwanger was a military officer from Germany. An SS Oberfuhrer and war criminal who founded and led the Nazi SS penal unit Durlwanger during World War II. Serving in Poland and Belarus, his name is inextricably linked to some of the war's most heinous crimes. He also fought in World War I, subsequent conflicts, and the Spanish Civil War. He is said to have died in Allied custody after World War II. In all the theaters of the Second World War, few could compete in cruelty with Durlwanger, writes Timothy Snyder. Number 8, Ernst Kaltenbrunner. Ernst Kaltenbrunner was a high-ranking Austrian SS official and Holocaust perpetrator during the Nazi era. Kaltenbrunner was the third chief of the Reich Security Main Office, which included the offices of Gestapo, Kripo, and SD, from January 1943 until the end of World War II in Europe following the assassination of Reinhard Heydrich in 1942 and a brief period under Heinrich Himmler. Kaltenbrunner joined the Nazi Party in 1930 and the SS in 1931, and by 1935, he was regarded as an Austrian SS leader. In 1938, he assisted in the Anschluss and was given command of the Austrian SS and police force. Kaltenbrunner, a devout anti-Semite and ardent Hitler supporter, presided over an escalation of Jewish genocide. He was the highest-ranking SS member tried at the first Nuremberg trials, where he was found guilty of war crimes and crimes against humanity. In October 1946, Kaltenbrunner was sentenced to death and hanged. Number 7, Hermann Goering. Hermann Wilhelm Goering was a German politician, military commander, and war criminal.
He was a prominent member of the Nazi Party, which ruled Germany from 1933 to 1945. Goring was a veteran World War I fighter pilot ace who received the Poor Le Marite Award. He was the last commander of Jageshwader I, Manfred von Richthofen's fighter wing. Goering, an early Nazi party member, was among those injured in Adolf Hitler's failed Beer Hall Putsch in 1923. While receiving treatment for his injuries, he developed a morphine addiction that lasted until the last year of his life. Following Hitler's election as Chancellor of Germany in 1933, Göring was appointed as a minister without portfolio in the new government. As a cabinet minister, one of his first acts was to oversee the formation of the Gestapo, which he handed over to Heinrich Himmler in 1934. During the Nuremberg trials in 1946, Göring was found guilty of conspiracy, crimes against peace, war crimes, and crimes against humanity. He was sentenced to death by hanging but committed suicide hours before the sentence was to be carried out by ingesting cyanide. Number 6, Joseph Goebbels Paul Joseph Goebbels was a German Nazi politician who served as the Goleiter of Berlin, the Nazi party's chief propagandist, and Reich Minister of Propaganda from 1933 to 1945. He was one of Adolf Hitler's most devoted acolytes, known for his public speaking abilities as well as his deeply virulent anti-Semitism, which was evident in his publicly expressed views. He advocated for progressively harsher discrimination, including the Holocaust's extermination of Jews. Magda Goebbels and the Goebbels children joined him in Berlin as the war came to an end and Nazi Germany faced defeat. On April 22, 1945, they moved into the underground Vorbunker, which was part of Hitler's underground bunker complex. Hitler committed suicide on April 30, 1945. In accordance with Hitler's wishes, Goebbels succeeded him as Chancellor of Germany for one day. Goebbels and his wife committed suicide the next day after poisoning their six children with cyanide. Number 5, Reinhard Heydrich Reinhard Heydrich was a high-ranking German SS and police official who was a key architect of the Holocaust. He was the Reich security main office's chief. He was also the Reich protector of Bohemia and Moravia's deputy slash acting Reich protector. He was president of the International Criminal Police Commission, later known as Interpol, and presided over the Wannsee Conference in January 1942. As a result of Operation Anthropoid, Heydrich was killed on May 27, 1942, in Prague. He was ambushed by a team of Czech and Slovak soldiers dispatched by the Czechoslovak government in exile to assassinate the Reich protector, the team had been trained by the British Special Operations Executive. Heydrich died a week later as a result of his injuries. Number 4, Adolf Eichmann
Otto Adolf Eichmann was a German-Austrian SS Obersturmbannführer and one of the Holocaust's main organizers. During World War II, SS Obergruppenführer Reinhard Heydrich tasked him with facilitating and managing the logistics of the mass deportation of millions of Jews to ghettos and extermination camps in Nazi-occupied Eastern Europe. Eichmann was apprehended by Mossad agents in Argentina on May 11, 1960 and later found guilty of war crimes in a widely publicized trial in Jerusalem, after which he was hanged in 1962. Number 3, Joseph Mengel During World War II, Joseph Mengel, also known as the Angel of Death, was a German SS officer and physician. He is best known for his actions at the Auschwitz II concentration camp, where he performed lethal experiments on prisoners, was a member of the team of doctors who chose victims for the gas chambers, and was one of the doctors who administered the gas. On January 17, 1945, with Red Army troops sweeping through German-occupied Poland, Mengel was transferred 170 miles from Auschwitz to the Grossrosen concentration camp, 10 days before the arrival of Soviet forces at Auschwitz. In July 1949, Mengel fled to Argentina with the help of a network of former SS members. He lived in and around Buenos Aires at first, then fled to Paraguay in 1959 and Brazil in 1960, all while being pursued by West Germany, Israel, and Nazi hunters like Simon Wiesenthal, who wanted to bring him to trial. Despite extradition requests from the West German government and covert operations by the Israeli intelligence agency Mossad, Mengel eluded capture. He died in 1979 after having a stroke while swimming off the coast of Bershioga and was buried under the alias Wolfgang Gerhard. In 1985, his remains were exhumed and positively identified through forensic examination. Number 2, Heinrich Himmler Heinrich Leopold Himmler was the Reichsfuhrer of the SS and a prominent member of Germany's Nazi Party. Himmler was one of Nazi Germany's most powerful men and a key architect of the Holocaust. Himmler did not see active service during World War I as a member of a reserve battalion. He majored in agronomy at university before joining the Nazi party in 1923 and the SS in 1925. Adolf Hitler appointed him Reichsführer SS in 1929. Over the next 16 years, he grew the SS from a 290-man battalion to a million-man paramilitary force, and he established and controlled the Nazi concentration camps. Hitler briefly appointed him as a military commander late in World War II and later as commander of the replacement army and general plenipotentiary for the administration of the entire Third Reich. Hitler took over these positions after Himmler failed to meet his objectives. Himmler, realizing the war was lost, attempted to open peace talks with the Western Allies without Hitler's knowledge shortly before the war's end. When Hitler learned of this, he fired him from all of his positions and ordered his arrest in April 1945. Himmler attempted to flee, but was apprehended and then arrested by British forces once his identity was revealed.
On May 23, 1945, while in British custody, he committed suicide. Number 1, Adolf Hitler Adolf Hitler was a German politician of Austrian origin who ruled Germany from 1933 until his death in 1945. He rose to power as the leader of the Nazi party, first as Chancellor in 1933 and then as Führer und die Reichskanzler in 1934. During his dictatorship, he launched World War II in Europe on September 1, 1939, by invading Poland. Throughout the war, he was intimately involved in military operations and was central to the Holocaust, the genocide of approximately 6 million Jews and millions of other victims. Both the Red Army and the Western Allies had advanced into Germany by late 1944. Recognizing the Red Army's strength and determination, Hitler decided to deploy his remaining mobile reserves against the American and British armies, which he perceived to be far weaker. On December 16, he launched the Ardennes Offensive in order to sow discord among the Western Allies and persuade them to join him in fighting the Soviets. The offensive failed after some brief successes. In January 1945, with much of Germany in ruins, Hitler declared on the radio, however grave the crisis may be at this moment, it will, despite everything, be mastered by our unalterable will. On April 30, 1945, Soviet troops were within a few blocks of the Reich Chancellery. On April 30, 1945, Holed up in a bunker under his headquarters in Berlin, Adolf Hitler commits suicide by swallowing a cyanide capsule and shooting himself in the head. As the Red Army shelling continued, their bodies were carried outside to the garden behind the Reich Chancellery, where they were placed in a bomb crater, doused in petrol, and set on fire. Hitler's roles as head of state and chancellor were taken over by Grand Admiral Karl Donitz and Joseph Goebbels, respectively. There you have our top 10 list of the most notorious Nazis. Thanks for watching and make sure to support our channel.